Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Stellar cryptocurrency uh, for storage on your Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. Okay, so I've had a couple of people ask me about Stellar and uh, how do you transfer it onto the Ledger Nano S. I'm going to walk you through that today. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, I thought I'd like to demonstrate for you. Alrighty now, so uh, I bought some Stellar and uh, it's stored on my Binance account. So that's where we're going to start. Purchase. So you just want to uh, get on the exchange where you have your uh, Stellar stored. Okay, so we go over here to balances and as you can see I've got some Stellar here. It's uh, Stellar Lumens and uh, the symbol is X XLM. So uh, I'm going to transfer 20 of these uh, to the Ledger Nano just as an exercise, so to explain to you how uh, it works. All right. So basically we're going to do a withdrawal. But uh, we need a, uh, a sending address. So I'm going to take my Ledger Nano S here. And I'm going to connect it to my computer. And I'm going to enter the PIN code. Okay, so uh, now that I've done that, I'm going to need to go to the Ledger Manager, which is over here in Apps, and I'm going to need to add support for uh, Stellar. So we'll just scroll down here to uh, Stellar. There it is. Okay, so we just hit this little down arrow and it's going to install on the ledger. You will need to confirm that. If you'll notice here, it's asking me to confirm. Just hit that little button and let it install. Okay, and once we do that, we can close this guy. And, uh, you know, just so you see here, uh, there's Ethereum and there's the Stellar app. So we've got Stellar on there, all right? And I'm just gonna click both buttons now I need to go to uh, the Stellar website and uh, this is the website for the cryptocurrency. We want to go over here to wallets and we're going to use the Ledger wallet and we're going to use with account viewer. Okay so there's one small caveat that uh, I neglected uh, but it's a good exercise in dealing with issues that come up. Um, you want to make sure in your Stellar app that you are in, uh, you go to settings and make sure that browser support is on, right? So we take it from no to yes and click both buttons. And there we go. Okay, and once we do that, you'll notice that the, uh, the sign in with Ledger button is now blue and I can sign in with Ledger. Okay, so we're gonna to need to go back over here to our Binance and uh, take a look at our Stellar Lumens. And we're going to do a withdrawal. Okay, and here's our address here. That's our Stellar public key. They need us to put a little bit in this wallet for it to work completely. All right, so that's the public key of, the, of my ledger. I'm just gonna put that in there. And uh, I'm not going to use the memo. Some of these uh, exchanges need that memo field. Uh, Bin Binance or Binance is going to allow you to just tick this box for no memo. I don't need it to get it into uh, my ledger. And now the amount. Uh, I'm going to put 20. All right. So we're going to take 20. We're going to move it into this ledger account. And we're just going to click submit. must be at least 21. Oh, you got me. All right, so I'm going to put in 21. Let's try that again. Huh? Okay, so there's my 21, and I'm going to hit submit. And it wants my Google Authenticator code. And just hit that. 
and Binance wants me to uh, confirm my withdrawal the email. So we'll just go over here to uh, Gmail. I'm gonna need to, uh, there it is. So we're just gonna confirm that withdrawal. And there we go. And then we can go here and look at the uh, state of the transaction. As you can see at this point, it's still processing. But we'll just keep an eye over here, and uh, eventually uh, we're going to see the uh, 21 uh, Stellar that we transferred. Hey, there we go. So we just got our Stellar. They did charge us a small fee, and uh, you know, so we got 20.99, and, and you can see the transaction ID down here, and uh, now we've got some uh, Stellar in our Ledger Nano S wallet. So uh, the private keys are being held on the ledger, Nano. And, uh, you know, I can unplug this ledger and uh, go about my business. And then if I uh, needed to send more in here, um, I could just pull this back up again. So uh, I'm going to exit Stella. Okay. And I'm assuming that that goes away, or does it? Who knows? I'm just going to try it one more time. I'm going to go ahead and go back into Stellar again. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, website. Stellar. Stellar.org. Going to go over here to Wallets. Let's go to Ledger. Use the Account Viewer. And then we'll sign in with Ledger. And there you go. It shows us the uh, the public key, shows the balance, and then it has the transaction history down here below. And that's it. And if I wanted to send out lumens, I would of course use uh, the recipient address and send the amount, whatever amount is available in my wallet to send. And uh, there you have it, gang. That's how you store uh, Stellar on your Ledger Nano S. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And if you do, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button, which allows you to be alerted click whenever. Now. Click it now. That was Crypto Daughter. Uh, click it now, please. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.